Hey guys, Just Bricks here. I know this doesn't look like the start of a Lego video. Um, I'm actually at work at my day job as an electrician. Um, just about to leave. This place is kind of a mess. It's It's been uh, partially remodeled by a person who didn't know what they were doing. They called us in to try and fix the electric. And then after I was here the first time, spent two or three days here trying to fix the wiring. They had another carpenter come in and he looked at the floor plan, decided it wasn't going to work and started pulling out walls. And so they just pulled out all the electric and said we'd start over. So, I mean, you can see all the piles of wire everywhere. And so I'm going to be working on trying to get this place back together. But for now, I'm going to go home. I've been working late the last few work days and so I'm taking a bit of an early day today and I guess I'll see you in the rest of the uh, the Lego video so I ordered new mailers for my store and they came today I had ordered 250 a few months back probably back in April or May and I've gone through most of them and so I thought it was time to get more, but I figured I went through them fast enough that I should get 500 this time. So it was kind of funny when I got home and saw the package because this is a case of 250, and that's a case of 250, and they just taped them together. <laughs> that's pretty funny to me. So I was doing a Pablo, and I realized after I recorded it that throughout the whole video, the, uh, the focus on my camera was a little bit better than I had thought it was. So you could read the address on the order form on my iPad. So I had to kind of back up and punt. So I'm just gonna kind of talk over what the people ordered. Um, these two orders came in to my store since last night. Um, this order here, was one minifigure. It was Scales from Ninjago. Um, they ordered him for a, a um, birthday present for their eight-year-old son. It's kind of funny because they actually, they live in California, but their mom lives in the same town as me over in Maryland, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, they ordered Scales for their son for his eight, eighth birthday. And so I included a bricky and a couple bonus pieces from the Ninjago theme for them. Um, and then I also had this order, which was for Neville Longbottom, uh, Professor Quirrell from uh, Harry Potter, and also the Jungle Explorer from the Collectible Minifigures series. I think that was from series 19. And so it didn't take long to pick those orders. But uh, earlier in this video, you saw me talk about my envelopes. You can kind of see them here, that green tealish color. And I ordered 500 replacement ones, not replacements, but I ordered 500 to kind of restock my storage. And so I opened up one of the boxes tonight, and this is the new color that they sent me. Apparently, the company that made the mailers decided to discontinue the teal in favor of this green, which I really don't like very much. Um, I think the most disappointing thing about it is the fact that the, picture, the pictures on the listing still show the teal. Um, I went directly to the website valuemailers.com. I, I went directly to the source of these mailers and it still shows the teal but it also shows that other green color which I mean I've had the same color in my store since I opened just about back in 2015 so it's kind of disappointing to have to switch colors because the company just decided to discontinue my color all of a sudden but in better news, I was looking through some of these minifigure accessories from my latest haul, the one I 
did a video of a couple days ago, and I found these pieces here. Uh, apparently these are Ninjago Time Blades, and I have them in all four colors, the blue, red, yellow, and green. And the red and yellow must be very rare because, let's see, the, this one's about five bucks. This one I think was about two dollars. This one was like eight dollars. And this guy here, the average sold price is thirteen dollars. The cheapest one in the U.S. right now is twenty bucks. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw these up in my store and see what happens there. You never know what random piece you're going to find that's going to be worth more than you would expect. So I guess there is a right spot to the night where I got the wrong mailers and tried to dox people in my Pablo. So um, <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and end the video there. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, y'all have a good one. So I just finished one of my other projects that I work on. Uh, I make these roses out of soda cans and sell them on Etsy. Uh, you can see I had a surge can from back when you could actually get it in my area. <laughs> and Coca-Cola can, cut out some petals, glue them all together, and then also cut out some leaves and make one of these roses.